When drawing the Lewis structures for acids, we're going to draw them just as we did before. The only difference is the hydrogen will come off of oxygen when it's an oxyacid. Oxyacids are acids that have oxygen in them. So step one is I need to figure out how many valence electrons I have. Hydrogen came in with one, each chlorine came in with seven, and oxygen came in with six, but we have four oxygens. Adding all that up, we get 32 valence electrons to work with. Chlorine will go in the middle and all of my oxygens will come off of the chlorines. My hydrogen will come off of one of the oxygens. It doesn't matter which oxygen since they're all symmetrical. Now I need to subtract out how many lines I've drawn, which are my shared electrons. So I've drawn five lines. Each line represents two electrons being shared between those atoms. So I'm going to subtract 10, 5 times 2, giving me 22 electrons still unaccounted for. If I add my lone pairs, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, which is how many I have. So this is the structure for pork chloric acid. When to add up your valence electrons for nitric acid, restart when you have your valence electrons. You should have accounted for 24 valence electrons. So nitrogen will go in the middle, and although we only have three oxygens, that hydrogen again still has to come off of an oxygen. We've used one, two, three, four. Four times two is eight. So I've got 16 left. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, but I actually need 18. So I'm too short. So I need a double bond somewhere. So now I've used 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, which with my double bond is my correct structure. You could do formal charge to figure out exactly where that double bond needs to go, but this would be perfectly acceptable. So HCl is not an oxyacid. So in this case, our H and Cl will just get hooked together. H comes in with one valence electron, chlorine with seven. Hydrogen doesn't need any more. All it needs is the two that's being shared between it and chlorine. So this one is HCl. I'm going to pause the video and do H3PO4 on your own. Restart when you have the final answer. You should have 32 valence electrons. The P should go in the middle with four oxygens coming off of it. And since we have three hydrogens, three of the oxygens will get hydrogens. Subtracting that out, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines, so minus 14. We have 18 electrons still to work with. We need 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. We have 18, so this is phosphoric acid. I'm going to pause the video and do hypochlorous acid on your own. Restart when you're done. So this one's a little bit trickier because if you draw it the way that it looks, Cl would be in the middle. But remember that our hydrogens have to come off of oxygens. So we should have a Cl, an O, and an H. Or you could have said H, O, C, L. We've used four electrons, so we have 10 left. So that's two, four, six, eight, 10. So that's our structure. 
This one as well as the one above it are exactly the same. It's just reversed order. As long as you have the CL attached to the O, which is attached to the H. And one last one, go ahead and pause the video and try sulfurous acid on your own. Restart when you have your answer. You had 26 to work with. Sulfur should have been in the middle with all your oxygens coming off. And then hydrogens coming off of that. So then we've used 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 16 left. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and then 16.